Film Sensei here. Today, in this video, I'm going to take a challenge. This 10 second clip, I'm going to put this light sword effect on here, and I'm going to do it in under 5 minutes. Hit Film Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to take this challenge to make that effect in under 5 minutes. Now, this just blows me away because back when I was young, in 2002, I made a fan film called The Devil Went Down to Curson. And in that film, I had to hand paint those things using uh, Premiere and Photoshop. I would import two, two seconds worth of a clip, and each two seconds would take about 40 minutes. So a 10-second clip to do would take me about... Two hours and 20 minutes to do. And I can't believe that I'm even going to try getting this done in under five minutes for a 10-second clip. It's incredible. But we're going to see if I can do it. It's a challenge for sure. What even makes this more impressive is hit Film 4 Express. I'm going to do this in the free version. This isn't even going to be using a lightsaber effect. It's going to be using a different effect. I'm going to cheat to make it happen. And you're going to find out how it is. So I want to put a clock right here. And we're going to get this thing going. Three, two, one, and start the clock. So what I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to make my shot into a composite shot. Click OK. And I'm going to do some tracking here. So I'm going to twirl this open, and I'm going to make a new track point. And even though I'm under a time frame, I'm still going to label everything because it's that important. I'm going to use my mouse wheel to zoom in here a little bit. And I'm going to start by tracking the hilt first and click forward this is going to probably be the longest part man i've already got close to 30 seconds here off the clock and i haven't even done anything really this could take a long time but i'll tell you what it isn't going to take as long as it used to there's no doubt about that we're tracking along nicely here hopefully this is uh gonna work because you know i'm on the clock here and you know you just never really know for sure how long something's really gonna take Almost done. Almost done. Come on, move a little faster. Okay, back to the beginning. And now I'm going to add my second track. And I'm going to relabel this one, Tip. All right. And we're going to take him up to the top here where the tip is, if I can find that. And we're going to track it here as well. Got to make sure it's in the right place. And here we go with that side. See how it's moving around? So you couldn't just lay something over it and hope that it fits well. Because it definitely doesn't and it will look poor if you try to do that. It's hard to believe that I could do something this quick. But I've already burned over a minute and a half, I think, on this. And I haven't even started the effect yet. Oh, yikes. This could be tough. I still have to make my rigs and all nine yards. Might not make it. Guess we'll see. All right, now that we're here, I'm going to go back to my viewer, and I'm going to create my rig, starting with a new point layer, and I'm going to rename that point layer Hilt. And then I'm going to make a new point layer, and I'm going to rename that one Tip. All right, under the Hilt track, I'm going to transform to the Hilt point, and then under the Tip, we're going to transform to the Tip point. There we go. All right, now that we have set up our rigs and I can check and make sure they look pretty good, yep, they sure do, I'm going to add my effect, starting with a new plane layer, and we're going to call it Saber. You always have to be. And I'm going to change the blend mode to add, and then I'm going to add, yes, a lightning effect, a lightning effect. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to twirl them open. We're going to go to the start point, and I'm going to zero out these numbers. And then I'm going to attach it to the hilt. And then under the end point, I'm going to zero these numbers out. And I'm going to attach it to the tip. Doesn't look much like a lightsaber, but if I zero out the twitch scale, I zero out the wave scale. If I come down to the branches and I zero those out, then it doesn't look too bad. Now under the hilt side, I want the width to be about three. And under the tip side, I want it to be about maybe two and a half or so. All right, now it looks pretty good except for that little problem right there. So what I'm going to do is cheat, and I'm just going to scale back the growth here a little bit, right, like this on the uh, uh, on this part just enough, maybe 0 0.02. Yeah, but it's showing a little bit of the prop there. So what I'm going to do is cheat 
and I'm going to add a light flare to it. Oh, what? And that is cheating. First thing I got to do is change it, though, because it doesn't look very good. That's an anamorphic enterprise. And then under the hotspot position, I need to zero these things out again and use the hilt. It's a little bit large, so I'm just going to scale that thing down to about, oh, maybe 65 or so. Yeah, I would say that looks pretty good. Now, I do want to make one little modification here. I think under the uh, lightning and electricity, um, maybe if I go to the glow settings and I just sort of expand the radius of that a little bit, yeah, and then maybe take down the opacity just slightly, and that's, I think, where we're at. So let me close everything up here, and let's take a look. Ready? How does that look? Well, you know, that doesn't look too bad, does it? I would say that we're good. What do you think? Is it time? Oh, well, you know, wait a minute. Chunk. All right, and stop the clock. And look at that. In four minutes and 44 seconds, I have completed the task. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.